guys, welcome back to my channel. So first of all, this video is going to be in English. Um, the reason why I decided to film this in English is because um, I haven't done one for long and also I feel like it's not very fair to my like international friends and that they have to always um, focus on the subtitles on my other videos in order to understand what I'm saying. So this video as you can see is 10 facts about me. I actually wanted to film this when I reached the 1k subscribers but because of laziness and um, and also I wanted to prepare this video very well so that's why it took quite a while um, uh, what I meant by preparation is I was actually looking for inspiration online to see what people talk about when they talk about facts about themselves but I didn't really get much inspiration it's just because I found those like facts are too general if you understand what I mean um, it's just I feel like if I want to talk about facts about myself and then I it should be more like unique and specific and make people feel like oh Chile is like that oh wow Chile experienced that so that's what sort of like a video I would love to present to you guys so that's why it took quite a while for me to think of 10 very specific facts about myself so if you feel like getting to know me more Please keep watching. So the first fact about me is I don't like bread. Um, yeah, it's very specific and uh, many people actually knew it. All my friends knew it. The reason why is I always, always blame my grandma. So my grandma doesn't like bread either. And then when I was young, I uh, lived with her and then I spent most of the time with my grandma because my parents uh, need to work. Um, so that's why when we were talking about snacking or like having meals and then we never actually thought about bread. And then I remember the first time I tasted bread, I actually wanted to vomit or maybe I actually vomited <laughs> it's just I don't like the texture I don't like the taste I don't like the smell and then if it's like freshly baked which normally people think oh my god it's so good and for me is it's not good is I find it disgusting I'm so sorry um, but now I can eat bread um, but still it's not something that I would prefer. I always choose something which is like with a lot of toppings or even like just plain bread. I would like put loads of butter, like sauces, jams and stuff to like cover the taste and texture of the bread. That's how I eat bread. I'm really sorry to bread lovers. The second fact about me is I hate colour purple. Um, I, I don't know, I just find this colour really really ugly and there's no particular reason it's just ugly um, I don't own any purple things not clothes not bags no accessories nothing nothing you can't find anything like in purple like from me actually and I remember once um, I saw someone in the MTR like in Hong Kong um, wearing like purple fully purple and then it's just from head to toe it's like purple 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 I, I don't know like maybe she was going to like a purple party or something but and then <clears throat> it just made me feel like not comfortable you know so I had to change where I was standing in order to avoid seeing her yet yeah, that's how much I hate purple the third fact about me is I don't have piercings at all um, not on my ears, not nothing, nothing. I love wearing rings, I like wearing necklaces, I, I like wearing bracelets, but just piercings, yeah, I don't know. I just uh, not not a fan about it and, and I'm, I never thought about it. I like my ears and I don't know, like my earlobes, both of them, they are very big and then I like playing with them like sometimes like just like squeezing it and pressing it and stuff. So I don't want anything to ruin my earlobes. The fourth fact about me is I'm scared of flies, insects and yeah all these kind of stuff. Um, even butterfly. Um, 
it's just butterfly is isn't worth with wings, you know? I don't find them beautiful and um, people will be like, oh butterfly is so cute, they're beautiful and I just have the absolute opposite uh, thought about them. <laughs> and then my biggest fear is uh, cockroaches. Um, yeah, they're just disgusting, they are scary, they are big and they can fly. Um, they're useless, they're shit. <laughs> the only fly that I'm okay with is ladybugs. Um, I do find them quite cute. They're like very tiny and then with patterns on it. It doesn't feel like they will attack people. Um, <laughs> not that the other flies would attack people, but I just find them very scary. But ladybugs are the ones that I'm okay with. So the fifth fact about me is I still have two baby teeth. Um, I found out uh, when the last time I went to the dentist and then she told me I still have two of them. And uh, I actually asked like, what's the reason why they're still here? And then she said like, oh, they're just very strong. And then it doesn't seem like it's going to come off and then it's stronger than any other teeth. And I was like, wow, great. And does that mean I'm still young? The sixth fact about me is I eat rice every day. Um, I cannot live without rice. I have to eat rice uh, every day. If I don't eat rice that day, I will feel really uncomfortable. After living abroad like for almost 10 years, and of course I do like Western food, but like I still have my Asian side of me, you know, because I'm Asian. It's just rice is so good and um, I can even just eat plain rice like that, like without any sauce, any toppings or any other ingredients. That's how much I love rice. The seventh fact about me is I have a habit of writing journals and I've been doing this for 10 years now. Yeah, I started 2012. I don't know what other people think about writing journals or how they actually feel about writing journals, but to me, it really helps me with my mental health. Not that I have mental problem, I don't have mental problem, I hope. Um, but it's just um, writing stuff down, um, doing journaling uh, before going to bed really calms me down and also helps me to reflect on myself. You can write about things happened on the day, uh, your feeling for something, or basically just like anything you want to write it down and then it just really helps. Um, so if you guys like also have a habit of writing journals, comment below and let me know what it helps you. So the eighth fact about me is I shower in the evening before I sleep. Um, this has been a habit um, ever since I was born. <laughs> um, yeah, I just feel like uh, having a shower in the evening after a long day of work or even you just stay at home, it's not that you don't move at all, you know? And then it just feels good uh, after a long day of something and then you just take a shower before you sleep and then with the journaling and it just makes you feel very cozy, makes you feel very comfortable before going to bed. I know a lot of people, especially my Western friends, um, they basically all shower in the morning. Um, they said it helps them to wake up, to feel fresh and ready for the day, which I absolutely understand. I mean, different people have different habits, so yeah, so shower in the evening, shower in the morning, both make sense. The ninth fact about me is I'm obsessed with pigs. I love pigs and uh, I even want to pet a pig in the future. If you go to my room, you'll see pigs everywhere. It's not like big, big toy or something, but it's just like small little things which has a pig on it. So it's not like too like eye catchy. Um, yeah, I just find them very cute. And in fact, pigs are very clever. And um, yeah, it's just my favorite animal. The last fact about me is I actually caught COVID um, back then in January 2021. Um, I still cannot figure it out how I caught it because I didn't have any contact with anyone. I was staying at home because of the lockdown. Um, I just feel like maybe I had the superpower to generate the virus in my room. The reason I took a test at that time is because of a project. Uh, someone contacted me and they needed a um, clarinet test to do like commercial shooting. I was actually very excited about this shooting. Um, so I was like, oh sure, I will do a test and then 
they pay for that and then they also would pay for my uh, time and then my work like during this shooting and um, so I was like really really looking forward to it but then then the result came back positive so I lost this project because of that and I was so mad and I was like how the hell I caught COVID and then after I received the results and then like in two three days and I started like viewing up symptoms and then I was um, like really tired and I had um, a bit of a sore throat and then quite some coughing um, I didn't have a fever I didn't lose my sense of taste or smell um, well compared to a lot of people my symptoms are quite mild at that time my flatmates um, didn't catch it I told them I was tested positive and uh, I locked myself in my room and then they all went to take a test and then it came back negative so I actually don't really know how it works and luckily I wasn't contagious and then I didn't infect uh, my flatmates uh, but anyway yeah I caught it in January so that's a wrap for this video I hope you guys enjoyed it and um, also hopefully getting to know me a little bit more uh, if you like this video please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel share this video with your friends and follow my Instagram I'll see you in the next one bye